Hi, first grade, and welcome back to Balance Literacy. I hope you all have a really fun time meeting a second grade teacher today and asking them all of the questions that you're wondering about second grade. It's so, so exciting. Now, today, I thought it'd be fun to just read a story together. Um, and this story is called Scaredy Squirrel at the Beach. And I know that my class loves these Scaredy Squirrel books. We think they are so funny. So I thought it'd be fun to read one about the beach. Now I know Scaredy Squirrel gets into a lot of adventures, so I'm very curious to see what happens in this story. The blurb for this story is, Scaredy needs a vacation from his tree-bound routine. Can his homemade beach take the place of the real thing? Really quick, make a prediction before we get started. What do you think is going to happen in this book? All right, let's find out. Warning, Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone put on number 65 sunscreen before reading this book. Scaredy Squirrel at the Beach by Melanie Watt. Scaredy Squirrel never goes to the beach. He'd rather vacation at home alone where it's safe rather than risk being surrounded by the wrong crowd. A few crowds Scaredy Squirrel wouldn't mind, wouldn't want being caught in the middle of. A herd of sea monsters, packs of pirates, flocks of seagulls, tribes of jellyfish, tons of falling coconuts, mobs of lobsters. I agree. I don't think I would want to be caught in the middle of any of those. So he's perfectly happy to build his very own private beach. Hmm. Scaredy Squirrel's Guide to Building a Safe Beach. What you need to get started. Paper and crayons, one stick, one inflatable pool, one flashlight, one bag of kitty litter, one plastic flamingo. Number one, draw beach scenery. Number two, use stick to hold upright. Number three, cover ground with sand. Number four, inflate ocean. Number five, turn on sunlight. Number six, install beach wildlife. Hmm. Now, Squirrel, Scaredy Squirrel worked really hard on his beach, but would you like to spend the day at his homemade beach or the real beach? Which one would you rather spend the day at? And enjoy. It looks like a beach and feels like a beach, but it doesn't sound like one. Scaredy Squirrel notices something's missing. The soothing sound of the ocean. Hmm, let's make a prediction. What do you think Scaredy Squirrel is going to add to make the soothing sound of the ocean? Go ahead and make a prediction. All right, let's find out. The solution, make a quick trip to the real beach and find a seashell that fits the description below. Seashell, quality and performance chart, germ-free, shiny exterior, crystal clear ocean sound. Red alert, seashell must not, I repeat, not be occupied. Hmm. What does the word occupied mean? must not be occupied. Take a guess. I'll read the sentence again. See if we can figure it out just by listening to the sentence. Red alert. She sh seashell must not, I repeat, not be occupied. Now, I heard some of you say that occupied means that someone's there, someone's inside that shell. Maybe a hermit crab's living inside that shell. The shell would then be occupied. Awesome job, friends. But traveling to the real beach requires careful planning. 
first, get a passport. Second, draw a map. Beach map, mission, operation, seashell. 7 a.m., enter box and wait. Don't forget passport. 7.30 a.m., get picked up by mail truck. Verify passport. 8.42 a.m., arrive at beach and wait until the coast is clear. Don't lose passport. 11.42 a.m., exit box and find seashell. Hold passport. 1.49 p.m., enter box and wait for pickup. Check passport. 6 p.m., get delivered back to nut tree. Put away passport. Hmm. I think that his passport is really important to him. What do you think? All right, I am here. Oops, looks like he's going to go around this tree and seashell should be here. Oh, but there's a lot of things he, he needs to be careful of. Careful. Birds of a feather flock together. Seagulls can drop by at any time. Caution. Falling coconuts have a mind of their own. They can knock you out without warning. Important. Sea monsters are camera shy, so keep camera close by. Ahoy, matey! Watch for pirates. Arr, they'll make you walk the plank. Stay away from tribes of jellyfish. You'll be stung by how sneaky they can be. Never trust a mob of lobsters. They are a pinch territorial and are eager to snap. Ooh, I'm making a connection here. What do you notice about all the things that he has listed on this map? I agree. He mentioned them in the beginning of the story, right? These are all things he does not want to get stuck with. Scaredy's Beachwear. Scaredy's Beachwear. This squirrel is a trained professional. Don't try this at home. Exhibit A, protective headgear for falling coconuts. Exhibit B, protective eye patch to fool pirates. Exhibit C, protective flotation device to prevent sinking. Exhibit D, protective camera to discourage sea monsters. Exhibit E, protective compass to avoid getting lost. Exhibit F, Protective foot gear to shield from jellyfish. Exhibit G. Protective rubber band to tame lobsters. Exhibit H. Protective oven mitts to block germs. Exhibit I. Protective french fry to distract seagulls. Hmm. Looks like he has put a lot of planning into this. Give me a thumbs up if you think all of the, these things are going to protect him from those groups of scary things. We will find out. Remember, if all else, else fails, play dead and send an SOS. The next morning, as planned, Scary Squirrel jumps into the box. At 7.30 a.m., he gets picked up. They drive and drive. Welcome to the beach. At 8.42 a.m., Scaredy gets dropped off and waits. And waits. Uh-oh. I'm in the way. 11.42 a.m. A crowd appears. Oh, no. Really quick. Let's stop and make a prediction. What is going to happen? What is this crowd, do you think? Who is appearing? Let's find out, friends. Oh my goodness, people were not part of the plan. Scaredy Squirrel panics and... Let's make another prediction. What does Scaredy Squirrel do? What does he do? Let's find out. Plays dead. 30 minutes later, one hour later, two hours later. Surrounded by friendly people, he decides to join the crowd. I think that's his best bet. I think he might have some fun. Scaredy Squirrel builds sandcastles and takes pictures, floats in the ocean, and sunbathes with the others. He forgets 
all about the flocks of seagulls, tribes of jellyfish, herds of sea monsters, packs of pirates, tons of falling coconuts, and mobs of lobsters. He's glad to be a part of the crowd. Back home, after a day of fun in the sun, Scaredy Squirrels, it, Squirrels inspired to make one more important addition to his own beach. Hmm. Let's see. Let's look at this page. What do we think Scaredy Squirrel is going to add into his own beach that he doesn't have there already? Take some time. Think about it. Notice the things that are on the page. And what do you see is missing? All right, what do you think he's going to add? Let's find out. A crowd. Garden gnomes. P.S. As for Squir Scaredy's next visit to the beach, it might be sooner than he thinks. Wow, friends, thank you so much for reading this book with me. I loved this book because Scaredy Squirrel is so funny. He's usually really scared in the beginning. And then things usually get better for him, right? What's something that you noticed changed about Scaredy Squirrel in this book? How was he at the beginning of the story? And how was he at the end of the story? Yep, I heard some great responses. I heard some people say that in the beginning of the story, Scaredy Squirrel was so scared of the beach, he wanted to make his own. And then he actually went to the beach and tried it out. And guess what? None of the crowds that he was scared of were there. He actually ended up liking the crowd of people. All right, friends, thank you so much for reading with me today. I hope you loved this book as much as I did. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you later. Bye.